Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today I want to talk about um, four watches that are sort of in a, in a funny area. I call them sport dress watches. They're, they might even be sort of office sports watches. And they, they belong in an area somewhere in the middle. Some tend more toward the dressy side, some more toward, I would say, the office side, not so much the uh, sports side, but there's a sportiness to them. First one here is the Chopard LUCXP. Now, this watch has what looks like a denim strap, but in fact, it's a wool strap. It's a woven wool strap. The thing about it that I, it just knocked me out is on the inside of this strap, is you have this gator strap or this gator uh, lining underneath, and it looks extremely interesting. I mean, really, you could this it could easily be a an everyday watch, or it could be a dress watch. Caliber ninety three fifty three L, chronometer, uh, and you know twenty eight thousand uh, eight hundred. Uh, semi oscillations per hour, four hertz. There's nothing too exciting about that. Movement is equipped with what they call the uh, the brand's twin technology in the form of two stacked rotor, uh, two stacked mainspace. This means they have like two barrels, and instead of having them like this, they're like this. And uh, this is they they come out with 58 hours. Um, of uh, they call it autonomy, but it really is it's a reserve 58 hour reserve. That's any what now the MSRP was 9410. I found them new for 6258. I think they came out originally sometime around 2017. I think it's a great buy, great watch. Now, the second one is a German watch, uh, Dornbluth and Sun. Now, this watch, on the one hand, uh, this is their, what they call their medium size. They call it 99.1 is the name of the movement. And then they have 99.1 large, 99.1 medium, and then I think 99.1, I don't know if it's called small or regular, but it's, it's they're all 99.1 movements. And that's, I think that's an important feature of it. Um... Dornbluth and Sun is, you know, when you look at the dial, you say, well, that looks, if there was ever an office watch, that looks like the, <laughs> the clock in a classroom. Uh, but it's, there's something about it. You flip it over, and here you have this really gorgeous, uh, well-finished movement. And I, it's got a nice big uh, uh, balance wheel that runs at, a frequency of 18,000 semi-oscillations per hour, two and a half hertz. Just love that. 50-hour reserve, hand-wound. Uh, it's got a, a swan's neck regulator on it. But notice, too, it's not, it also has the uh, uh, the weights around the, uh, the balance wheel. Uh, and then it's got the gold plate. Now, normally, uh, when you talk about gold plating, you go, <laughs> you don't want that. But gold plating on the main uh, plate of the one large plate that they have over the movement, uh, that you're not, you're not getting rubbing on that like you like you would on the outside. Uh, this one is the gold doesn't rub off because it's gold, but. On uh, plated gold, a lot of times you'll it'll rub off and you'll have the uh, you can see steel, but on the inside uh, you have a um, an exhibition back you can see it but you can't rub it. So this is another one, uh, fifty eight hundred dollars. Uh, like I said, this one's more toward the office than formal. But then you look at the back and it's got that thing that dress watches have. Now, here's a watch I've, I've talked about on more than one occasion. Now, the MSRP on this is $7,300. I found one uh, for 
This watch, I think, and this is with a metal band too. This is our metal bracelet. This watch, I think, is still the Bulgari Octo Roma. It's still one of the best buys around. It's a classy executive office watch. Uh, at the same time, it's a great formal watch. It has is sort of like the sportiness of the overseas and the Royal Oak and the um, uh, the paddock ones uh, uh, that they had with uh, the Ast not the Agronaut, but the um, uh, the one of the water ones they had. <laughs> Got the name of it. Uh, this is a beautiful watch, and Bugari is is a it's one of those brands that again it's it's identified with the fashion, but it's got its own uh, it has a, has its own movement making facilities. Um, I think this is a fabulous watch. Uh, Forty two uh, 41 millimeter steel. This is. I still think this is one of the best buys around. Now, this last one is a Gerard Perigo 1966. Now, the prices on most of these is going to be more than what I found. I found one for $52.32. And I think the reason it was at that price, which is probably maybe $2,000 less than most of them that you'll find, and this is on this is not the used market. It's on a secondary market, and it's got um, eight uh, diamond indexes. Now, the diamond indexes on it are they're not garish, they're not blingies. They're simply like ah, oh, we we'll use these for an index. I've seen these on other watches. I think this one, again, tilts a little more to the dressy side, but it would work fine as an everyday uh, uh, office watch, too. Uh, the date's a bit small. I, in fact, I think I prefer it without the date. But this is an interesting watch. I, I think it may be something, you know, you looking for something. Well, you want a little formal, but not too formal. Uh, it's not so much bling as it is functional on the diamonds. Anyway, those are four that I dug up. I'd really like to hear your opinion. And until next time, this is, uh, oh, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection.